Alright guys, welcome to another PS4 video. Now, this one has been sent in to a computer store that I do repairs for and what they have said is um, the console does not turn on so the model number of this console reads model number CUH-1002A and the problem that this is having is it does not turn on that's what I've been told so to be specific let me just grab my notes um, of what the customer actually wrote down and they have said console does not start keeps booting up to the cannot start screen um, console seems to power up but keeps restarting to the uh, cannot start screen uh, we have tried multiple times, but no, we have not had any success. Um, please let us know if it is fixable in advance. And yeah, so that's basically what it says. So it says that it does not start up, um, cannot get past the boot screen. So the first thing we need to do is determine what the actual fault is. So that's a description, but to be accurate, I need to know exactly what's going on. So what I'll do is I'll power on the console, um, and then while it's powering on, I'll place you guys uh, facing towards the monitor so you can see what the um, what the problem is, and then we can go from there. So bear with me while I turn this console on, and then I will position you facing the monitor. Okay, so I've got you facing the monitor now. So this is what it says. Cannot start the PS4, connect the DualShock 4 using the USB cable and then press the PS button. So we'll do that. Let me grab a PS4 controller and let's plug that in. Okay, and uh, now let's press that. Uh, connect the USB storage device that contains an update file for reinstallation for version 3.5 or later you can download this update for file for installation from playstation.com okay so let me just grab the USB that contains that 3.5 okay I think we're in the 5.5 now so let's let's grab that USB let's plug that in and now let's press OK so it says USB storage device is not connected. Okay, so let's press OK. Okay, so the console is going to reboot itself to <clears throat> to uh, the menu, and let's see what it does. Okay, so if you can hear that, it's it's constantly restarting okay so again cannot start all right so at this point what I'm going to do is power down the PlayStation and then I am going to enter the the recovery mode and then let's uh, let's go from there so Let's power this down. Okay, and then give it a couple of seconds. And then let's plug this back up. Hold down the the power button for at least I think it's six to seven seconds. So let's do that till you hear two beeps. Okay, so we're in that menu there. <clears throat> okay, so it's asking us to connect the PS4 controller using a cable. Let's do that. And then now let's go to reinstallation system software. Okay, let's do that.
let's wait for it to speed up and uh, load and find this file Okay, so it says PS4 will be initialized, all users and all data will be deleted. Yes. So remember when, when it says that um, when the system cannot start, you know, you need to think about it logically. You know, you think about it, why is the system not starting? So if the hardware side of you is working, so in terms of if it's a healthy hard drive, if the console was working prior to this issue then the things that we need to look at is it's not starting so what are the two components that it needs that to it to start so obviously a healthy console with a healthy hard drive and then a healthy software for it to work upon right so um, what be, most people don't understand is when you are reading uh, sorry when when it says there for reinstallation we need to understand that what it's actually asking from us so Reading it properly uh, is quite essential to um, understanding what it actually asks. So if it asks for an update, but in brackets it's also saying that you need a, um, a reinstallation of a particular file, then you need to do that. But if it's asking you for an update, but in brackets it says reinstallation, then you need to reinstall the system software, not just the update file. So well, a lot of people, what they get confused is, and I don't think Sony makes it very clear as well, is that what it actually, it's needed. Is it the update file? Is it the reinstallation file? So when you're reading that in brackets that it says reinstallation, then do the reinstallation, not just the update file. So um, we'll let this run the process, um, and then we'll come back to it. Let's see how it goes and if the console is going to boot up or not so right now it's on the blue light of death it's flashing so at least we've got this um, access to this window here so let's see where this takes us and hopefully we can get this console up and running but yeah so I cannot stress enough that you know a lot of people that's in in consoles and stuff with this sort of error please 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 read what it's asking you to do if it's asking you to update the system into once you have entered the software or is it asking you for a reinstallation so um and then also some people don't uh, really know how to check hard drives and stuff for healthiness so that's something that we can uh, look at into it at a later stage but uh yeah so please read what it's asking you to do so we'll let this load up and then we'll uh we'll come back to it Okay, so give it a few seconds for the console to restart again. So don't panic at this stage. Oh, you know the console's not turning on. No, it's, it's going to start, but it's start by itself. So do not force it. So there we go. We've got the PlayStation logo on the screen.
Okay, and there you go. So Sony signs back on. And it's asking us to connect. So let's do that. Let's go here. Skip all of that. Okay. Do that later. So there you are. Back online. So remember what it's asking you to do? It's asking you to reinstall the software or apply an update. You could also do updates through I think settings over here, but remember when you are when something is not turning on, think about it logically why it's doing that and where the problem is. Unfortunately this method here will erase all of your data and so forth. So Pay attention um, to what it's asking you, read exactly what it's asking you, and then um, and then look at uh, what it's, you know, what, whether if it's an update or whether if it's a uh, required reinstallation that's needed. So obviously this system, I think it had a corrupted data in it, so we needed to reinstall the complete reinstallation of the, the data, that's, uh, sorry, the software that's needed to run the PlayStation. Um, that's pretty much it. So you can see it up and running here. Hopefully this video has helped somebody out there. I'll put everything that uh, I've used from the data to uh, the link to the complete reinstallation file, which is 986 MB, if I'm not mistaken, from PlayStation's website. Um, and that's the key difference. A lot of people download the update file, which is only a couple of MB. I think it's 200 and something MB. Um, you don't need that one, you need the reinstallation um, software, which is 986 MB. So thank you for watching, hopefully this has helped somebody out there.